Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this all new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. This thing is absolutely insane. I love this Mustang. It's probably my favorite Mustang ever produced. Starting off up front, new for 2024, we have the brand new all LED headlights, massive grill up front with side vents right here to feed cold air to that massive engine. Adaptive cruise control sensor is going to be right there. Hood graphics package, Mustang Dark Horse on it right here. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have some, looks like Pirelli P0s. And the size looks like they are a 255, what is this, 40 R19. This Dark Horse style kind of um, brushed looking wheel massive brembo brakes there's your dark horse badging on the side looks like we have a carbonized gray mirror cap blind spot monitoring is included passive entry on both doors beautiful side applique again massive massive wheel and tire setup this thing is insane out back we got 275 40 r19s Coming around to the back, <laughs> this thing is so sweet. Parking sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. We have dual black tipped exhaust, Dark Horse logo right here, backup camera right there. Mustang style LED tail lights, I love those. Minimalist style wing. Capless fuel filler door right there. Gosh, this thing is just so sweet. Very, very loud, very fast. This thing looks so aggressive. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off over on the driver's side door, we have this really nice soft leather with this blue stitching and it looks like suede accents with this carbon fiber looking trim. Lock and unlock buttons are gonna be right here. Window controls and then mirror controls are gonna be right there. Looks like right here we have your trunk release button. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Up top on the dashboard, again, it's that carbon fiber looking material, surrounded by this rubberized, uh, almost leather feeling material. b and Premium Audio Group. Working our way down to the instrument cluster, we have a fully digital instrument cluster that seamlessly transitions into the massive touchscreen display. Right now the vehicle is in track mode and the exhaust is on mute, so you can't really hear it. I will play with, play around with that in a little bit. Steering wheel, very, very nice soft leather wrap steering wheel, very aggressive bolsters at 10 and two. Again, that blue dark horse stitching continues throughout. Paddle shifters as, you, as you'd expect. Right here we have your cruise control buttons, as well as I believe um, your different drive mode selectors. You can put it in sport, track, drag strip, or slippery, or custom. Then over on this side, we have the control pad for the center display. You can see your fuel economy, not that you really care about that if you're driving this. Really nice flat bottom steering wheel. I love this carbon fiber looking trim. Over here to the touchscreen display, we have all your HVAC controls, all your radio controls. You have your track apps, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. This thing is a beast. Below that, you have your air conditioning vents, push button start, this is your dark horse mode or Mustang mode button. Traction control off, hazard light button, favorites, max defrost, and then your volume. Something to note about this touch bar is when you push it, the entire bar pushes in, but based on where you push, it knows where you push. It's actually pretty cool. USB, USB type C charging outlet, wireless charging mat, 12 volt outlet right here, shifter, e-brake, parking brake, two cup holders, very small minimalist style center console with a 12 volt outlet in it. These seats by far, I know you can't really see them because the wrap, this just got delivered. These seats are probably the most aggressively bolstered I think I've ever sat in in my life. Um, I am firmly planted in my seat even right now. I can't really reach all that far out because I'm stuck in my seat. Um, you're definitely not going anywhere when you're in these. Glove box is gonna be right there. There's your dark horse badging right there. Vanity up top, incandescent lit for your passenger as well as your driver. 
Driver has a three door universal garage remote on it if that'll come through for you. I'm sorry about the washout. Up top on the headliner you have your glasses storage and then your uh, LED dome map lights and then I believe an auto dimming rear view mirror right here. Uh, this does have seating for four, but there is no way anybody is even going to fit back there. So I'm not even going to try to get in. Um, but like I said, it's in track mode, or let me put it in track mode real quick. Uh, custom, slippery, drag strip. Let's, let's just go to drag strip. And then you go over here. Quiet, normal, sport, uh, drag strip. And then I'll rev it a little bit very very aggressive very very cool I like this guy a lot um, tons of features you can go through in here you can actually <laughs> turn the car which is pretty sweet you have your track apps like I said auxiliary gauges too so you can monitor all those while you're uh, racing this thing is sweet um, <laughs> I saw it at the auto show, like all completely kitted out. It looked amazing. Uh, I knew it would kind of be toned down for uh, like what everyone would, would buy, but this is still pretty dang close to, to, uh, to that kit. I think they did an amazing job. I love the layout of the instrument cluster that seamlessly transitions over into the touchscreen display. And if you notice too, there's kind of a bend in it. So it's almost like cockpit um, seating. It is kind of angled towards the driver. Same with all of these buttons here. They're angled towards the driver, which is nice. I really appreciate that. Let's take a look at the trunk and see how much room we have. So there's a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button to the left of the steering wheel. And the third way, you're gonna come up underneath the Dark Horse logo, push the button, it's gonna unlock, and then you're gonna lift it up. Being a two-door coupe, you're not gonna have a crazy amount of storage back here, but you are gonna get a nice B&O subwoofer in the back. When you're done, you can just grab the trunk lid, slam it shut. Let's take a look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker on this guy. Again, it's a 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse Coupe Premium. It's got a 5.0 Coyote V8. Shadow black is the exterior color. Standard equipment's gonna be all right here for a base price of 58,185. Optional equipment is gonna be right here. Most notably, we have the 700A, which is the premium trim for 3995, as well as some other miscellaneous packages right here with the Recaro seats for 1650 and the 10 speed auto for 1595. There is unfortunately a gas guzzler tax of $1,000, bringing the total MSRP, including delivery to 6820. Fuel economy rating is gonna be right here. You're at 14 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. I want to give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2024 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and please check the description below for all of my affiliate links. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.